All right, we want to go ahead now and solve a compound inequality. Compound means more than one. So here we have two, two, two inequalities. And so we're going to call this a compound inequality. So, so let's see how this uh, guy is going to work here. So for each, for each compound inequality, uh, we're going to give the solution set in um, interval notation and in graphing form. So we'll do both of those. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is solve for x. Okay, and uh, notice specifically we're solving compound inequalities with the word and in there. So notice that we have two inequalities and it has and. This is actually really important that you recognize that because there is a difference between compound inequality with and and then problems that have or. So, so for the next three examples, I'm going to be dealing with just the ones that have and. And then you'll see um, how that works right there. Okay, so I'm going to be dealing with and. Uh, so first let's go ahead and, and just solve. So nothing, nothing new right there. So I add 3. So x is less than or equal to, to 9. Then and. I'm going to keep that. Subtract 2. So x is greater than or equal to 5. Okay, so if x is less than or equal to 9 and x is greater than or equal to 5. Okay, so what we want to do is this, is we actually want to graph each of these. Okay, so, so I'm going to graph this one first. I'm going to go ahead and graph x is less than or equal to 9. And uh, so I'm going to make a number line. And it doesn't have to be really big. Just uh, make a quick number line here. And I'm just going to put uh, 9 right here. And it says x is less than or equal to 9. So if it's less than, then it's going to go to, to the left. And I'm going to use a bracket because um, it has the line underneath it. Now, let's graph x is greater than or equal to 5 now. So x is greater than or equal to 5. I'm going to go ahead and graph that. And actually, it does kind of help to do them um, one on top of one another, so I'm going to do it just below it, and you'll see why here in a minute. Um, so I'll just put this guy over here. All right. So if I graph this guy now, so 5 would be somewhere like right here. So x is greater than or equal to 5. So that means it's going to, starting from 5, and it's going to go that way. Okay. So we're, we're not done yet with graphing in or in interval notation, but watch this. I want to know when is this compound inequality less than or equal to 9, and when is it greater than or equal to 5? Well, here's the case when it's less than 9 or equal to. Here's the case where it's greater than 5 or equal to. But I want to know and when they're both happening at the same time. So really what we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to combine both of these answers into one graph now. Ah, trickly. So you make a third number line, okay? And the answer is where these two where the two intersect because that what what and means is when something happens and another event happens, it's when both of them happening at the same time, so it's and. So notice that they intersect at 5 and 9, and it's everything in between 5 and 9. So the way that we can think of it is we can write 5, and we can write 9, and this is the, the intersection between the two because that's where both of these graphs intersect. So this is the graphing form, and then we write this in interval notation it starts from 5 and it goes to 9 and uh, just notice how I used uh, brackets because it's um, equal to.